Hey, it's Connor. And listen, I've been pretty hard on Google of late. And I thought, you know what? Listen, Gemini Ultra, that whole demo that they faked was a total disaster. But also, I think a lot about everyday usage. And I do a lot of training practically on how to use generative AI, not just how to keep up with it, even though that is important. So I figured I should really just give Bard a test drive. You know, Bard now has Gemini uh, Pro built in. It's supposed to be now up to snuff with all the other models. And you know what? Let's give it a try. And guys, what the heck? I mean, it wasn't good. And that's with Gemini Pro uh, integrated into it, which is supposed to make it like really good. And Google, you're killing me here. Like this is like the boyfriend or girlfriend that you keep giving one more chance to and they just keep disappointing you. And Anyway, here's the thing. I was running these tests with Bard alongside of like ChatGPT and Perplexity and even, even Grok, which I just reviewed uh, in a previous video. And I thought, listen, I'm going to throw up a few softballs and give uh, Google Bard brought to you by Gemini Pro or whatever, uh, uh, sort of like sort of a few easy ones just to sort of knock out of the park, right? So I took a few pieces of delicious low-hanging fruit. So number one was like the latest AI news. My God, it is an AI and you are a new site, but okay, let's keep going. And also the NFL news, National Football League here in America uh, on Sunday. It's all over the TV. You can't avoid this. And I did this on a Sunday night just to sort of make it easier. Guys, Bard is so lame. Okay. Anyway, let's start with the AI news, right? So I asked AI to, or sorry, I asked Bard to like hit me with like the viral news of the week. Now, listen, there's only one right answer to the viral news uh, of the week last week. And that was that Gemini came out and it lied to everybody. But listen, I didn't really expect it to come back with that. And it didn't. But I mean, you know, it also did not come out with the Grok release, which was also huge news. Instead of it kind of came out with, listen, yeah, the EU news, which was pretty big about AI regulation. But also like the next two were like Google stories about Gemini ignoring the other thing and other stuff. Just super boring. And I asked for viral stuff. And so, yes, it was news, but not what I was looking for at all. Meanwhile, Perplexity, which is miles better, was like, hey, Gemini lied, y'all. And I was like, I just, I don't know, I appreciated that. But you know what? It's Google. I'm going to give it a pass. It's fine on that. So what about the NFL? Now, I asked every other large language model about NFL news. Grok, which is integrated with uh, Twitter, obviously this is Elon Musk's product, was great in its responses. Perplexity is always great, so I kind of knew that. But even ChatGPT, which I didn't think would be that great at it. Now, this is the uh, Plus account, which is integrated with Bing. Uh, and I don't think of something that is like really, really good at it. It actually gave like a succinct like paragraph of like, yeah, it was like, this has happened, this happened, as if you were talking to a friend that had watched football all day. And then I asked Bard, and I was like, Bard, tell me about the exciting plays in the NFL today. Because Bard has access not just to the real-time internet, because it is Google, but also YouTube now, too. And here's what it gives me. And I'm like, I don't know. You know, it's like, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? You have to be more specific. Which games in the NFL? I'm like, oh, my gosh, could you sound any more lame and robotic? But I'm like, okay, you know what? I know that Gemini needs hints. It's an inside joke to everybody that saw the rock, paper, scissors thing on Google Ultra that lied. But anyway, I was like, okay, how about the Chiefs-Bills game, which had this epic ending and was going totally viral all over the internet. And I was like, how about some plays from there? Barred anything from there? It made me want to weep with boredom. It literally listed out 88 plays of the game. Uh, stunned disbelief. And then I'm like, okay, you know what? Bard, one more shot, double or nothing here. Tell me about the reviews of the new Tesla Cybertruck. YouTube obviously went nuts over this, tens of millions of views. We can't go wrong here, right? And so I asked it, and look, it did give me the links. But those links I could have gotten anywhere. This was like adding zero value. So I kind of prompted a little bit. I'm like, so what did these links say? Because listen, what Bard is supposed to do is like read YouTube reviews and it was a little better, but it kind of gave reviews. But again, nothing that I couldn't have found anywhere else in exactly that format. But then it gave me quotes and I was like, okay, now we're talking. Gave me quotes from the YouTube video. But then I'm like, wait a minute. I don't think I trust you anymore. So I went in and went into the transcripts of those YouTube videos and guess what? It made up the quotes. You are killing me. Listen, these models can hallucinate, but not when that's supposed to be its added value. <sighs> okay. Anyway, last thing, right? So like, what about the added value of like, you know, being able to search your Gmail and all that kind of stuff in your docs, right? So I'm like, 
Let me just give that a whirl, see if that's gotten any better with Gemini Pro. And no, I was asking about an upcoming flight that I'll be taking, and it found flights. It found that one, but just like a like sort of like a almost like a terms and conditions from that flight. Nothing about when I was flying or anything like that. Meanwhile, it gives me tons of information about flights I, would, I was had taken, I guess, in 2015, 2018. I'm like, worse than useless. Worse than useless. Guys out there, listen, I'm begging you. If you're using Bard and you're just like finding something, please tell me, prove me wrong. I want to know. I want to like Google, but it's killing me right now. So anyway, please don't forget to subscribe uh, if this stuff is useful. Uh, tell me how Bard can help me because I'm dying and I'll see you next time.